Welcome to Real Flicks Reviews, We're like a book club for people who hate reading. This week is James's picks. So James picked the movie House Party, made 1990, and the TV show Ultimate Beastmaster, episode 7, season 1. This week we have Jonathan Charney, James Stevens, and Ryan Preston. Hello. Oh. And then here's the description for the 1990 classic House Party, Young Kids. <laughs> Young kid has been invited to a party at his friend's his friend's playhouse, but after a fight at school, kid's father grounds him. Nonetheless, kid sneaks out when his father falls asleep. Blah 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 shenanigans. And that's pretty much the whole premise of the movie. I actually like the way they did that at his friend plays house. It's a playhouse. <laughs> oh. We're gonna play dress up. Now, the funniest thing is was, uh, <laughs> about this group, I don't know too many people who are not our age or older that have no idea who they are. There's... Yeah, it, it's, it's, hard to, it's hard to forget that, uh, that high top. That's the highest top of all time. I, 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 that's my, one of my favorite gag in this entire movie was his dad saying, kid looks like he has a mop on his head. Jeez, I got to go get his ass. Oh, I like the cops that said he had an eraser. <laughs> yeah. I that was my another good part was I was sleeping so he was you know sleeping and just kind of took the top off his sleeping cap. Um, yeah, um, shoot, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna give this a two point five. Whoa. Um, this I don't know. There, there's not a lot of nostalgia for me in this movie besides the fact that um, this is probably the most positive movie out of this era that involves rappers that I can remember off the top of my head. Yeah, I, I would <laughs> jump along with that one and like, I jump I, around. Um, I, oh, I, I might give it a little bit higher rating later on, um, but yeah, I, I'd say 2.5. Uh, okay, I'll jump on this one. I mean, uh, okay, so first of all, <laughs> let's just say this was not the one that I was actually looking for. I was looking for a different house party. There's four of them and I got confused as to which one was which. Um, there's actually technically five, but that one really wasn't under the house party numerical order. Um, was it with a kid in play? Yeah. Um, okay. so, it, it wasn't canon. It, it, I mean, yeah. if, if, you're, if you're into the house party canon, goodbye. Yeah, yeah. Wait, Anyways, there's, there's a house I meant that par- as sarcastically as, as, as possible. Oh, I, you, I caught you. You better have. I was going to say, wait a minute. I, I want to hear you quibble on why it's not. So um, I just got to say, one of the things... I guess the benefits of doing this show is you kind of get to watch the old movies that you had fond memories of and then basically get disappointed. This one's a two for me and that's being gracious. So uh, we'll see. Ryan batters up. Wow. This is going to be fun. (laughs) So I, the, the last time I saw this movie, just to put it in perspective, he was Martin Lawrence wasn't famous. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, he so didn't even have Martin. Watching this, I was like, oh, shit, that's Martin Lawrence. Yeah. Who almost hasn't aged a day since friggin' 1990. Oh, no joke. I was uh, thinking the same thing. <laughs> weird, man, how, how much he's, he's looked the same. All He's the, on the all Magic the career, Johnson although, diet. Money. Yeah, for real. But although, you know, Martin, you know, the show that he's more or less famous for, wasn't that long after this. But uh, Are you positive about that? Uh, oh, jeez. Yeah, now, see, here's the thing. is I, I was teetering on, on a three and a half and a four. Whoa! But, oh. well, you, you almost made James do a spit take. Wow. By the way, thank you for not soaking my equipment. Yeah, you're welcome. That's what she oh, said. Oh, I will, I will justify the shit out of this. Um because I, I remember sort of bits and pieces of this movie because I was I was wicked young when I saw it. I think it was like one of my sister's movies that, I, that, that she was watching and stuff. So, so hold on, hold on. But, how, um, how how young is wicked young here? Um, he oh, was born seven or eight, six. Okay, right? I was going to say because uh, Ryan, were you eighty five? Eighty five. I was. That's why I was. Just I was going to say because eighty five or eighty six. Wicked so. young is you know yeah. right below hella young and you know <laughs> right above hella. Oh old. yeah, yeah. <laughs> So I'm just trying to dial this down a little bit here. John's using hella. That's hella cool. Keep going, Ryan. NorCal well, represent. Gotta see what else you got to hella say. So, yeah. <laughs> I will never say hella ever. You just did. Too late. I, we got it on record. <laughs> uh, so, okay. So, um, 
Sorry, my girlfriend's distracting me, asking me if I want food. What up, Emma? Um, sure, blame it on the person trying to feed you. <laughs> hey, are you ass. going to the mommy burger? No, go to Tommy's. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's a Tommy burger up the street and a fat burger now. Oh, you jackass. I know. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah, LA food, everybody, if you ever get a chance, holy shit. Anyway, uh, where was I justifying my, my three and a half, which I think I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to lean on. So <laughs> first of all, I, I remember this movie way different because I was too young to sort of understand what was going on. You mean the language? Which is almost kind of, <laughs> it was barely no, that was actually why I liked the movie. movie. <laughs> it's like, mama, yeah, that, that was, that was, that was why I liked the movie. <laughs> um, but I didn't, I didn't necessarily understand the incredibly deep fucking social commentary throughout this entire oh, movie. No. <laughs> um, one, this, this flick was actually paced incredibly well. It fucking yeah. kept moving. Yeah. Um, I'll the only problem I can see is they set up like five different endings, you know, three of which I forgot about halfway <laughs> through the movie anyway. Um, I would say there, there's you, only, you, I would say there's only a few parts in this movie that I thought bogged it down right. um I yeah maybe that. maybe just a, a couple but it really really kept its uh kept its pace well um you know the acting was whatever that was that was kind of whatever for the 90s not to mention the kind of movie they were trying to make but the reason i'm i'm going to three and a half is because i think they kind of went above and beyond uh with with how well the movie was written you know, because this was I, really sort of your average. There was sort of a bunch of these types of movies that were they were kind of coming out, kind of that Fresh Prince of Bel Air vibe. Matter of fact, I think this was supposed to be for Will Smith and Jazzy Jeff. Yeah, it was according to Wikipedia, if I remember correctly. Yeah, didn't they lose like a lawsuit or something? That I don't remember. I just remember them not doing it, and something they did a record or a video or something called Nightmare on My Street. And they were getting sued for it. Yeah, I, I guess they, somebody said, "Hey, you want to do a movie?" Um, yeah, right. But uh, but this, I mean, aside from from the goofy nature and obviously the the the, the terrible acting of the of the main character, uh, it's it's one. It's no wonder why you know Tisha Campbell and uh, uh, Martin Lawrence became sort of stars after. <laughs> Because they definitely had something going on, but just for telling the story the way they like did, it was, it was really, really good. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, uh, there's there's some things about this movie that I do actually appreciate. I actually like the positive message. Um, they 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 did bring up some commentary regarding you know black neighborhoods and stuff like that. I th there's a positive, and also here's the they didn't even pull any punches when it came to it. Also. No, at least as far as I understand. I mean, I, I'm just a white guy, so reality is I don't know. But I, watching this again, I thought they touched on some subjects back then that were touching, probably still are to some degree. You mean the alcoholism? That I thought they did a really good job touching on, like you said, the social commentary. Um, the parts that I thought were a little slow um, were kind of him running away from the bad guys, even though it was just chick that a stick that was important. I thought there were parts of yeah, it that, that were like think, that kind of dragged on. Yeah, though those dudes were were see if if um Kid and Play, which was the two main characters, obviously Kid and Play, uh, <laughs> were backup dancers for Salt and Peppa. And then they kind of went off and, and did their own thing and whatnot. But there was a couple other groups sort of around the same time. That uh, that did that kind of that kind of new jack sort of hip hop thing, and yeah, it was kind of corny, or at least it appears that way now. But uh, that was the other dance group. I'm trying to remember the damn name of. Um, but uh, the, the the bad guys were basically oh, like a, I think they were musicians, but they were more or less like a dance singing group, kind of a black boy <laughs> band of hip hop. <laughs> I, I don't know. This definitely wasn't my type of movie. I remember roughly seeing it when it came out, maybe a couple of years before. They do have a movie that wasn't this. I don't remember what it was called that I actually did like a lot back in the day. Could not tell you what it was. Don't not be a menace to South Central with drinking juice in the hood. No, it was it was oh. it was with a kid in play, and it revolved a school. And uh, was it play? Was the bad guy? Was the 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 street tough kid being the smart guy? And they kind of swapped positions in school type of stuff. Yeah, yeah. I understand. Um, 
I like that one better too. Um, now I was curious. Did you guys all like seeing John Witherspoon in this? I didn't. I forgot he was in it. Oh yeah. I the forgot he was in it too, for sure. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, his parts yeah, were but, probably my favorite. I just really oh, love well, him He's hanging out Robin the window, Harris. talking shit to everyone. <laughs> I just love. I spent yeah, fifteen thousand dollars on this house, and I'm thinking seriously. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Like, oh my god, can we do this? Fifteen grand? Hell, I got like two hundred bucks in my bank account. We could put a down payment. It's like, well, crap. It's for if everything was fifteen, you know, fifteen thousand dollars. Can I just buy a whole block? I can get a loan for that. Joke. Um, yeah, you guys. I mean, the thing that they did. I mean, they had the cute little message of the house parties are clean. There's no drugs. There's only one alky in the whole group. Um, and they're talking shit to him. Yeah. By the way, what was he drinking? Old English. Is that what it was? Yes. Was that what that was? Oh, yep. I kept trying to think. That stuff is not very pleasant. I'm just glad it wasn't <laughs> no, Steel Reserve. No, it's terrible. Um, That's why I think they were talking oh, no, about it. Steel Reserve is the kind of shit you drink on a corner. Yeah, well, I mean. <laughs> you mean hiding the fact you're drinking it? I mean, it's like. I mean, one can and he's going to go in a, a coma. So the um, question is, is it worse than natural ice? Yes. Yeah. Oof. Steel Reserve is yeah, way worse. Yeah, kids out there, don't drink Oof. Steel Reserve. It'll make you go cross-eyed. Um, <laughs> so that's what happened. You know, I. There was some quite a bit of nostalgia for me. I mean, I love kind of looking back at the old '90s style of the of the you know the patch suit quilts that they were. Or, no, I wrote it down. Damn it! Where did I put? Well, that? he's doing the. Oh, um, I gotta say, it was actually a beautiful movie too. I mean, well, the, I mean, the, the, the multicolored the quilt outfits. You oh know? yeah, I yeah, mean yeah. that was pretty funny. There was some of the other designs. I mean, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I did see the hammer pants in there. Um, so, I mean, there was nostalgia in it, but my thing was it, the dance-offs and things like that were just, I mean, it was for the, for the sake of the movie, and I mean... Well, it, was, it was for the sake yeah. of kid and play trying yeah. to get their, 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 their little mix out there, you know? Well, I mean, the rap battle was fun. The, actually, the dance part and the rap battle were actually my favorite parts of this movie. I liked the, the rap battle. The rapping in jail, I, I thought, just, was hilarious. I just love, I just yeah. loved how uh, uh, how spontaneous they were trying to make that that uh, dance off look. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, we're we're doing this on the fly here, but well, we choreographed this shit like oh, three yeah. weeks ago. Yeah. Um. So that that was kind of interesting. All right. See, uh, let me let me ask you know. see if you know. if you think the way I do on this one. Um. Yeah, I was expecting sort of nostalgia. And me for to you know kind of make fun of it like oh wow I was a stupid kid to to, to like this movie, but it, it had all that shit all the non drinking non doing drugs kind of kind of attitude about it but it wasn't lame. That was kind of the part that surprised me. Yeah, I could I get where you're coming I, from on that. I give you that, and I'm I'm gonna keep harping on this, but it also had a positive message too. I mean, like the fact he got mad for everybody like messing up the toilet and. And it was stuff that was a positive message. You know, I like knew if, that guy. If you're gonna I knew that guy. If you're going to throw a party, you know, respect people's houses. It's like the message yeah. in this movie, you know, granted the 90s were kind of that way. You know, it was either negative message or positive message. Yeah. But I was like, you know, I would uh, totally. It's a positive message, yeah. I would let my kid watch this. This is a movie that I I, I, I don't think after like seven or eight years old, like, yeah, sure. I mean, it's a fine, it's a good movie. Yeah, and it's a really sort of a I, soft... I smell something. It's uh, bacon. What, what, what do I it's smell? A, it's a really soft also. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, uh, it's... I, the, really, you can't talk a whole lot about this movie because realistically, there's a not a lot to it. Everybody's kind of, you know, a... It's very linear. Everybody's kind of a stereotypical character, especially for a 90s movie, which would 90s movies were full of stereotypes. Yeah, but you know, not not really though. I mean, I because they're, they're very, you know, yeah, sure, it might not be you know incredibly unique personalities or anything, but they're it's very honest to to a teenager though. Hmm. I, I you know I I, I you uh, know I, I can't really comment too much that because to be honest, I'm from the middle of nowhere, so. Uh yeah. And then John never used to be a teenager. No, no, I was a teenager, but I you know. Back where I'm from, people would talk about tipping cows, not having house parties. So yeah, <laughs> but I, you know, I this movie is very honest. It it really it doesn't pretend to be anything else but a feel good move, uh, feel good comedy movie with 
at the time a rising rap group. Um, you know, I'll 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 give it a three. I think just because the fact that it is an honest movie, and even if it even if it's not my favorite movie, even if I think it's a little you know kind of cheesy, it's honest about what it is. So I I actually really do appreciate that. So I'm going with a three. I mean, you guys really haven't convinced me on this one. Um, I mean, the, you're talking about the muscle-bound dance-off group. Uh, I still didn't like their acting at all. It really kind of bothered me. I um, actually thought cops, for a bunch of rappers, the co- they on, did a pretty good job numbers. acting. And the cops thing where they're still like, oh, you're just only after me because I'm a black man walking around a black neighborhood. It's like... That shit was great. But, I mean, the cop thing was pretty funny, but, I mean, it was just that part kind of irked me a bit. But it was the 90s, and, yeah, they were being kind of uh, bothered by the officers. Um, when was I, I, liked the, I liked the <laughs> fact that the, that the cops took him down to go look at the docks and, you know, beat the crap out of him. That was kind of funny. Um, <laughs> but as far as I'm concerned, it was a movie that was trying too hard, but trying to still have a positive message and trying to be funny, which there were quite a few parts that actually got me laughing, but I really can't go above a two just cause it just, it's really not that great of a film. There's better ones out there that are the same type. Yeah. I don't know if those, oh. those uh, but the question that I, is, I don't remember a lot of those other movies being is honest with the audience as much as this was. I still think they weren't being that honest with the audience. You no, no, really here's... think a group of high school kids are going to go to a house party and only have one guy drinking? Well, honest... Have you seen kids? That well... movie was honest <laughs> about what's going on. Well, I mean, honest for what the movie was, not honest for what society was. There's two different things. I mean, honest for others, the fact that it's obviously a movie for younger teenagers or tweens. Dude, you the, know? the movie was rated R. Yeah, I'd you still... can't get away with that language and have it P- PG or PG thirteen. It was a rated R film. Yeah, but it was still... and, and and it seems it seems like they just wanted to go for for some subjects and not really. I mean, obviously the guy you know had an agenda when it came to the drugs and alcohol. Well, yeah. Um, uh, see, I still think you this know, movie but was everything soft. else was on was on the table though. So, what do you give this, Ryan? I still think it's no, I mean, TGIF with meets the three and a half. I, I, I honestly, I honestly think for the type of movie that this is, they did more than they needed to. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I still think, I still think I'm going to stick with my thing of that is TGIF trying to be a rated R film. You know, I, I, you know, I still think this is a kids movie. Uh, but you I would have fucking in... liked TGIF if they started something <laughs> like that. <laughs> DJ, DJ uh, let Bob Tanner, Saget off the leash. D, uh, <laughs> Stephanie I mean, Tanner seriously. becomes yeah, a, cra- I mean, if, if, a crack whore. If every every third episode in Family Matters, well, one of the Olsen twins did. Said, Fuck you, Carl. No, that was Stephanie Tanner in real life. <laughs> no, that's true. Um, yeah, I don't know. So, just, mm, ladies yeah. and gentlemen, we do have a Facebook page. There's there a movie you'd want us to do? You could also pause for the cause and donate to Real Flicks Reviews and Old Guy Tech TV. You can also catch us on iTunes, Podbean, Stitcher, and more. So we're switching it up, and it's James' turn to go for the round. We're talking about Ultimate Beastmaster Season 1, Episode 7. Okay, so I picked this one because this is the first time one of the competitors made it to uh, through all of it and to the final level. So and wait, wait, I gotta say... Wait one second. So hopefully you watch this. If not, yeah. Ultimate Beastmaster is like America's version of Ninja Warrior, even but though I, I think this one's a little bit more twisted. Oh yeah, this one's actually better. This was... Partially put together by Sylvester Stallone, which is actually impressive to me, that he actually came up or helped to come up with this idea and concept. And I actually like this better than Ninja Warrior. I mean, the guy that actually did it looks like a little scrawny guy, but he is a professional mountain climber. And dude is fast and strong. I knew and I was, was impressed by him. I knew he was going to do it the moment he was hanging off with like two oh, fingers yeah. on that magnetic climbing oh, wall. Oh yeah. I mean like that is insane. The the just the finger strength that this guy has and he's fast. Fast. Oh yeah. So, Let me say this. Um I I like this type of show. I like this show. Here was uh, uh Sylvester Stallone's input. Hey, uh, what if we made it look like a reptile? Yeah, yeah. I, I and, would actually say that was exactly his comment. Did you ever record it? 
Did you? Did, did you I have find, it recorded? Yeah. Did you find a sound bite for that? Oh yeah, no, I've been practicing that all wow. day. Wow. And, 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 and I'll wow. be honest, that is the Fucking part about this I, <laughs> and that is the part I hated the most was this giant lizard oh, head. Yeah, it's like I you know. Agree. You could have called it Alt you know Beast. What? It was it was just like seriously. I, this is the like first America. episode I when get, they showed I that I'm like I'm gonna idea. hate this. I yeah. So oh no, seriously. When I when I first saw it, I'm like oh no, everything's fucking themed. I can't believe this. But yeah. then it's actually kind of a good crazy obstacle course, and then nobody was able to do it. And you know, I mean, I, I watched the 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 old school uh, the old school uh, uh, Sasuke um, Ninja Warrior from yeah. Japan and shit. And it was like two guys that had ever done the whole thing. Yeah, ever. My, you know, I think my, it's like three now. But yeah, you know, I, I, I do it, wish I do wish they kind of cut back the theming, the water for a while. They're saying, oh, and they fell into blood. the blood. It's yeah. like, oh, you know oh, God, what? This is so bad it hurts. Uh, but like I said, the first episode I saw this, and they did the whole thing. I'm like, I am gonna hate this thing. And after the first episode, I'm like, I want to watch another one. By I the actually way, do. Oh, I want to yeah. see. I want to see Anderson Silva do this course. Oh, and that's the other thing I was going to bring up. The commentators are great, and I love mm-hmm. the fact that you yeah. can go into the other commentators' booths and you know cheer with them and have a great time. I think that's a fantastic idea to have them like that, and from yeah, all the different countries too. I mean, that's really cool. Yeah, exactly. That's that's what that's what I like. And I mean, you know, that's I think why we all like sports is to to, to see people compete at a high level against yeah. people from all over the world. You yeah. want to know if you're you're the best at something. So getting these countries, you know, all together like that, it's it's uh, it's really cool. I love Terry Crews as a, as oh, a commentator. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's like too. the most positive fucking dude of all time. Oh yeah, he really is. I, I just wish they 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 mixed him with with somebody who's very not positive. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of that, the the blonde chick, because I think it'd be hilarious. He's he's Mr. Positive, and they get somebody who's <laughs> like very like negative, <laughs> just a total curmudgeon. Yeah, like yeah. like Wednesday Adams, like oh, you know, it's just because it would have been hilarious. I would have watched the crap out of it even more if the person's like, oh, yeah. well, he didn't die. Damn. Yeah, he didn't fall in the face. Well, well, we'll see if we Damn. can get you uh, on as a producer. Uh, <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, and the screw well, positive the other negativity. Thing I, was say, I mean, like. I like the fact that Anderson Silva and Terry Crews don't like look at what they're doing. And you can tell sometimes they're like, I don't think I can make it past that part just because of the amazement of how oh, good that is. I don't think either well, one the of thing, them would make it past Andrew, level one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't, I don't know the commentators from, uh, from, from Mexico or, or, or Germany. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, Anderson Silva, I mean, obviously one of the most famous uh, UFC fighters of all time. Yeah. But uh, as much as that guy's I hit, mean, he, had gotten hit over the years. He can't have a full deck at this point. Well, no, I actually, know, that's dude. the thing about him. He, he he didn't get punched too often. Yeah, um, that's true. But uh, but anyway, he's he's a he's a great dude, and he's an incredible athlete. And the look on his face when some of these dudes are are hanging from their hands or something. Oh yeah, he's just like holy shit. These guys are are mixing, you know. Yeah, the other guy that ends up going to the finals with uh, this um, professional mountain climber is also he's a professional ice climber so i mean it's right. just pretty crazy the guys that they get in there they even got the uh mr ninja warrior out from japan right dude, that dude yeah. failed the, um, he failed was, he the, was that the crab fisherman or the fire firefighter firefighter and i okay. i, I, yeah, I, do yeah. love the I fa- want the gas taste gas station attendant to show up on this one that I, dude is badass i do love the fact they also had a lot of the parkour guys yeah and he was oh, no the, wait that was the gas station attendant it wasn't the firefighter no it was the firefighter hmm. yeah well that being <laughs> that being said ladies and gentlemen next week is ryan's turn so ryan batters up um well i floated this by james and never bothered to cooperate it myself um so i'm pretty sure we haven't done this uh although i have a backup uh american history x no, we've never done that nope, one. We have not. Cool. There you go. Watch it. <sighs> and for the TV show, <clears throat> I have picked. Where to go? There it is. Uh, the Sun, season one, episode one. This is a new AMC show with Pierce Brosnan. Interesting. So yeah. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I gave House Party the first one, made nineteen ninety, a three out of five. James gave it a two out of five ryan gave it a 3.5 out of five next week we're doing american history x and the sun so as always 
Thank you for watching. Goodbye.